monsters in this lab are pretty strange, aren't they? I've heard that Fendel has been investing in biological weaponry. Perhaps this lab is being used to facilitate it. Watch out, guys. This one looks like trouble. I expect the best from everyone.
Sometimes I can't help but regret the past. As though. Why didn't I push harder for a raise in my allowance? What? what? I'm surprised you were able to defeat my Varus. You? Well, good heavens, I thought someone was trying to steal my work. Wow, I can't believe you built that Varus and everything. You're amazing, sis. It would have been more amazing if you hadn't defeated it so easily. So, what are you doing here? We came to talk about Fendel's Valcanus Creus experiment. On Forbrenir? I'll have you know, I spent years working on the research used in that experiment. I may have used your work as a starting point, but what matters are results. You know that. It's okay. I didn't come here to take credit for anything. I know you've done a ton of work on it. But no matter how smart you are, sis, the research is still flawed. And just what does that mean? Um, well, it's like... Look, it's gonna be a lot faster if I can just show you. Do you have any Creus fragments laying around? Like, maybe one the size of a bean. How's this? That's perfect! Here, gimme. Impressive, yes. No one has ever been able to extract Elith from Fire Crea so efficiently. Yeah, but when we give this thingy a little chunka chunka. Pascal, what are you doing? Guys, you might want to get back! See? That's the trouble with fire, Creus. If you apply too much pressure when extracting the Elith, it starts a chain reaction. And once that happens, it starts accelerating all the surrounding Elith, and then... Kapow! You can contain the damage when it's a handheld weapon or something, but with the Valkanus, it would be a total disaster. So that's why you never finished your research. Yeah, I saw where it was headed, so I just chucked the whole kitten caboodle. And that's why we gotta stop the experiment before everybody gets blown up! I... I can't do that. Yeah, it might be tough for you to tell them, huh? Well, look, how's about you just show me where they are and I'll just do it. Are you trying to make a fool of me? Am I what now? You saw where it was headed? You just worked it all out in your head! Do you have any concept of how hard I've worked to complete the research you've abandoned? You always do this! You mimic whatever I do, then just effortlessly do it better! I kill myself to be successful, and then you sweep in with your quick thinking and fancy talking and... 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 and you just leap ahead of me like it's nothing! Fourier, I... Fourier, we must get to the Valcanus Creus. Even if the experiment wasn't a danger, there's a different threat on the way. If we don't act now, it will be drained of its Elif, just like the other Valcanus. Wait, the other Valcanus? Yes, so we have to stop it, no matter what. Please, Fourier, tell us where Forbrenir is. I don't know where it is. But the man in charge of the experiment does. Who's that? Fendel's chief science officer, Kurt Bessel. Kurt Bessel? You know him, Captain? Yes. Though I never imagined we would meet again like this. Where can we find him? 
The Ministry of Science is located in the capital, although I couldn't say if he's there at the moment. Thank you. That's a good place to start. We'll try to speak with Kurt ourselves. Do as you like. It matters not to me. Well, we got our Valcanus information, but I wish it hadn't gone down that way. It was the best outcome we could have expected. At the very least, we learned that Fourier's primary objective wasn't bioweapons development. Hubert, you saw how painful that was for Pascal and Fourier. Don't you feel anything at all? Of course, but that ultimately has no connection to our key objectives. But... I hate seeing Pascal like this. I know what you mean. Isn't there something we can do to help them work it out? Stop this at once! I can't allow the two of you to waste more time discussing irrelevant nonsense. We have a mission to accomplish. Hubert. She felt that way about me all this time. I've been making her miserable all this time. I, I should go back and apologize. I don't think that will help. Fourier's problem isn't you, Pascal. It's Fourier. Her spirit has been crushed by years of doubt and self-loathing. Sympathy will only make the problem worse. But I... I love her, you know? I just wish she knew that. Oh, Pascal. Don't worry. She'll understand someday. You're the only one who can stop the Valcanus experiment now. Fourier knows that's true, even if she'll never admit it. If the experiment isn't stopped, Fourier's work will end up killing a whole lot of people. And no one wants that. Especially not you. He's right. Helping us will save your sister's reputation and maybe even her life. Plus, we... We need you, Pascal. We can't do this alone. So, come on, pull yourself together and let's go. Aw, little bro. Thanks, guys. You're the best. That was all right, Hubert. I know what she's going through. And besides, it would be far too quiet if she weren't around. Now, can we all stop talking and just head for Zavert? There's no time to waste. Fourier said that Kurt is Fendel's chief science officer. There's a place called Fendel Tower north of the city that houses government agencies. I wager we'll find the Ministry of Science there. Okay, let's ask around and see if we can find a way inside.
Pascal, what are you doing here? <gasps> They're Ma! You know each other? Of course! Everyone, this is Fair Ma. She's an Amarcian like me. Nice to meet you, everyone. So you work for Fendel now, right, Fair Ma? <laughs> That's right. Actually, I work at Fendel Tower. The security is such a pain. You have to use this fancy security pass just to get in. Hey, so do you think I could maybe kind of sort of borrow your pass? I've wanted to see the inside of that tower forever. Um, well, I don't know. Please? I promise I'll just look around and not break anything and come right back. Well, all right. I suppose I can trust you of all people. Aw, oh, thanks, Fair Ma. I totally owe you. <laughs> here. You said you knew him, right, Malik? In fact, you seemed shocked when you heard his name. What kind of person is he? If things go badly and we have to fight him, your information might help turn the tide. We first met at the military academy over 20 years ago. Much as they do now, the people of Fendel were suffering. The climate was harsh, and our Valkanists provided no help. Most of the people were on the verge of poverty. Or worse, the rich were content to let the poor struggle, so long as their own gluttony remained satisfied. Eventually, a young officer decided he had seen enough and started a reform movement. Kurt and I believed strongly in the cause, and had soon devoted ourselves to it completely. So what happened? It was youthful foolishness. Those in power brought pressure to bear and crushed the revolution before it could take hold. I knew my life was in danger, and so I decided to flee Fendel while I still could. But Kurt... Kurt stayed. He refused to watch the light of revolution flicker and die. He was a man of fearsome intelligence and singular will. A man who would sooner die than surrender his ideals. Even if we do manage to track him down, I doubt he'll listen to an old coward like me. But there's a chance, Captain. And that means we have to try. I suppose you're right. Let's go find him. This area is off-limits. Parma's not feeling well, so she sent us in her place. She sent six of you? Today's procedure is unusually labor-intensive. Well, all right. Go on, Throw. But that pass of yours will only work on the first floor. All other areas are off-limits. Understood. bacon again. You're really good at this. Yes, I suppose so. I won't hold it against you if you wish to view me as a professional liar. 
All right, we made it into the tower. Now the real work begins. Right. We should find Kurt as soon as possible. I have to say I'm relieved. When I first heard about Kurt, I feared you might try to avoid having to meet with him again. That no longer seems to be the case. Having come this far, I no longer feel conflicted. It's just... Yes? I might have mentioned it before, but Kurt is not an opponent to take lightly. I can't say whether I'll be able to persuade him. That's enough, Captain Malik. What? I'm saying try to keep your self-importance in check. Stop thinking of this as only your problem. Their Valkanus experiment will be disastrous, and convincing him of this is a duty we all share.
Remember your You're not doing so bad there yourself, Asbel. Interesting. It looks like all of these moving panels are linked together. Indeed. If you make one panel move, all of the others shift in lockstep. When determining our path through the tower, we'll need to factor in the positions of the moving panels. And then there are these. Looks like we can shut off the steam by closing the corresponding valves. But if we close too many valves in the same place, they may not withstand the pressure. This tower looked majestic from the outside, but the interior is junk. Sadly, I think that pretty much sums up Fendel for me. are in this building anyway hey are you all right i'm sorry what i'm curious as to why you are standing by yourself i'm not good with heights oh i see people down there but they're tiny captain is that really true about being afraid of heights yes why would i lie about something like that wait but when you ambushed us at wallbridge weren't you waiting for us at the top of a tower Yes, and that's probably why I lost. Had there been any other option, I would have taken it. Losing to Asbel must have really gnawed at you, huh?
Let's do this! Ha. Eat this! Green! Must you inconvenience us so? Win! But we can let it slide. Uh, is this a trash dump? Pascal, what is it? A geese original number three piston! And it still works! It's even been bored up! I can't believe someone just threw this away! And I can't believe you get this excited about garbage! Come on, help me search, little bro! <sighs> Fine. What are we looking for? <laughs> Our destination is up ahead. <clears throat> Are you well? Yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing Kurt again. Then perhaps you should act like it. Because when you appear anxious, it makes the others uneasy. Oh? My brother in particular relies on you with all his heart. So at this point, even false bravado would be more than welcomed. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't we clever? <laughs> <laughs> 